Hey there, Kreis here, and there's a 30% chance that it's already raining. Mean Girls was a movie released in 2004 that a lot of people liked and still like today. Mean Girls was also a movie released in 2024 that people don't like as much. One, because it's a musical that wasn't advertised as a musical, and two, the musical aspects of it kinda sucked. Now, funny enough, I'm not actually completely doing this video because of the new Mean Girls musical movie. Although I was very disappointed by some choices. Okay, sorry, I have to say it. Stupid with Love really sucked in the new one. It was just... No, that... That's not Katie Heron. That's Catherine Loon. That's not Stupid with Love. That's unintelligent when it comes to romance. But I've actually wanted to do this video for a while now, mostly because I really enjoy doing character design. And honestly, I couldn't think of a better place to do character design. I mean, the fashion in the original Mean Girls movie was pretty iconic and also had some actual theming to it. I highly recommend watching Modern Girls' video on this because, honestly, just... That video has worded it much better than I could here. I'll also be bringing up some of those points while I talk about my designs for the plastics. With all of that being said, let's get on to the designs, because they're so fetch. Hey, hey, um, what's happening? An evil takes a human form in Regina George. Well, I'll be fooled, because she may seem like your typical selfish, backstabbing, slut-faced hoe bag, but in reality, she is so much more than that. Regina, Regina, Regina. Honestly, I really like this design. I'm not gonna lie. Now, for each of the plastics, I took inspiration from different sort of aesthetics, I guess you could say. But in the case of Regina George, I don't think I had a specific idea. The most inspiration I took was probably Bratz dolls, really. <laughs> Especially those, like, modern aesthetic photos of Bratz dolls I keep seeing. Th that was definitely a big inspiration for her overall outfit. I also knew I wanted to include a designer brand as well as her initial necklace from the movie and obviously the hoop earrings. Though now that I look back, I kind of see a missed opportunity where I could have put the Playboy bunny in reference to her Halloween costume, but who cares? Also, I don't know what the hell I was going to do with the belt. I don't know why that was in the sketch in the first place. I also added some black to her design, particularly on the skirt, not only because it was in her original Wednesday outfit, but also because it was sort of used as a she's not as nice as she seems symbol. I think that particular aspect is best noted in the scene where she, like, prints out everything in the burn book because her entire outfit is dark toned besides her belt and her bag, which, although it's not my type of fashion, I absolutely love that bag. It is so cute. And also, as you can see here and in the other two designs, I did something different with the eyes to kind of give the vibe of one of those animated teen cartoons. I just found it fitting with the high school setting, and also it gave me less work to do. Overall, I am really proud of this design, it's just absolutely amazing. At least in my eyes. Probably because I drew it. Anywho, that was Regina George's design. Let's move on to Gretchen. That little one? That's Gretchen Wieners. She's totally rich because her dad invented toaster strudel. Gretchen Wieners knows everybody's business. She knows everything about everyone. That's why her hair is so big. It's full of secrets. Gretchen turned out absolutely adorable. I love her so much. Like, I want to put her in my pocket and take her places. I want to take her to the mall in my pocket. Anyways, for Gretchen, I took a lot of coquettish inspiration, but not, like, completely coquette. You'll see that I was originally going to add a little bow to her beret, but I didn't because... It just ended up being too much. I also ended up learning that it's really easy to draw argyle print. That's the print that looks like this. And I put that on her skirt. And honestly, I like it. I'm proud of myself. I didn't think it was that easy to draw that print. I also gave her Mary Jane-esque heels, which 
were also really adorable. It's hard to see in this crusty ass footage, but I made her jewelry gold. I gave her small, simple gold diamond studs for earrings because she can't wear hoop earrings. That's Regina's thing. Also, the brown that I end up using for her bag and her shoes is like a reddish brown, which I ended up kind of liking, actually. Also, that thing, like, right here, um, that's supposed to be a little sweat drop, but it, it looks... It looks like nothing. It looks like a random dot in the playback. You know what, the footage probably looks bad because I drew them all on the same canvas, but oh well. You can also see that I chose different shades of pink for Gretchen. I'm doing that for each plastic, but I honestly really like these shades of pink. They're really cute. Anyways, here is our nervous wreck, Gretchen Wieners. Absolutely love her design. Let's move on to Karen. That one there, that's Karen Smith. She is one of the dumbest girls you will ever meet. Damien sat next to her in English last year. She asked me how to spell orange. Okay, I know I ragged on the movie a bit already, but if there's one positive thing I have to say, it's that I love the casting choice for Karen. Like, just genuinely. I think part of it is because her stupid was played up, like, just enough to fit into the musical setting. So, you know, your girl had to take a lot of inspiration from the new Karen. This was also a good opportunity for me to draw more POC characters because I don't really do that as often as I would like to. Anyways, I think the most difficult part of drawing Karen was choosing what specific types of pink I wanted to use. Like, I thought I had an idea, but then it didn't work out, so I had to try and find another idea, which didn't work out. Anyways, for Karen, I thought I would draw inspiration from, like, the baddie aesthetic that was like a thing in 2020 and people would make edits of characters looking like a quote-unquote baddie. I basically Karenified that aesthetic the best I could and honestly, I was so close to not liking this design because I was having such a hard time, but once again, I ended up liking this design. I like all three of these designs so much. One thing that I took from some of the references I had was fur. I just liked the idea of Karen wearing fluffy things. I also gave her pigtails held with scrunchies because, yes, I know technically there's like a rule about ponytails, but I don't care. It's Karen. It's very Karen of her. I also gave her a shirt that was cut really low so that her bra was showing because I think Gretchen for some reason had a costume that did that in the 2024 version which I think a few- it led to a few people getting confused about who was Karen and who was Gretchen for that particular scene. On the topic of trailers, did anybody else just straight up not see trailers for Mean Girls, like the 2024 version? I feel like I didn't see any of those at all. Anyways, I decided to give Karen dangly earrings just so all the girls had different earrings and I carried over the beads onto her necklace and also to a little keychain that you can't really see, but it's there. You'll also see me adjust the skin tone once I notice it doesn't work well with the background, at least as much as I would like it to. I think I always end up having that one design in like these types of videos that I'm just not satisfied with until I wait a little bit and look at the playback footage. Anyways, here's Karen! I absolutely love her now that I've let myself get used to how her design looks, and I'm not being a piss baby! Yay! Unfortunately, I think I made her shoe fluff different colors. Let's move on before I cry about that. Alright, thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. I know for anyone who's like coming back from previous videos that I said I was gonna have a different video out, but if you didn't see my community post, I got depressed and I also didn't like how the video turned out, so I'll probably just revise it a bit until I say fuck it and post it. Um, I might also hold off on posting it until the video doesn't have just 15 views because I'm not sure people even want to see that. Like, I know my real life friends want to see it, but I mean, 
I'm also making these videos for other people to see my art too. Yes, fine, I want validation sometimes. Who doesn't? Anyways, let me know who your favorite design was in the comments. I really want to know. I don't usually draw like pink and girly designs, so this was actually kind of fun for me to do. Also, let me know if you would like to see Katie, Damien, and Janice. I think that would be fun to do as well. Or if you have any other redesign ideas, I will absolutely, if I feel like it, hop onto those. It's probably going to take me a while to make any other videos because I'm having rehearsals for Freaky Friday the Musical! That was my impression of someone who's enthusiastic about the Freaky Friday Musical. I am not having fun right now. Anyways, hopefully I stop being a piss baby about the In A Nutshell video and I decide to post it for myself or some cheesy shit like that. Leave a comment if you want, leave a like if you want, subscribe if you're interested in any more of my content, watch these videos as well, I worked hard on them, especially this one, please. Fulfill my need for attention, and see you in hell.